Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the Hawk Moth theme song from Miraculous Ladybug, okay? Pretty awesome uh, theme, goes like this, give you a preview before we start learning it, check it out. Alright, so yeah, melody and chords, uh, block chords, because that's the foundation of a song. From that, you can add your own improvisations and decoration patterns afterwards, just like what I just did made up on the spot. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and break it up to parts that's easier to learn. Uh, we'll break it up to about four parts, okay? First part goes like this, right hand starts on the A sharp here. So middle C, go up to the A sharp, so two A sharps. B, 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 C sharp, D, A sharp. That's it for the first part, let's do it again. So it goes two A sharps, B. B, B, C sharp, B, A sharp. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp, and F sharp major, which is a falling black note chord, is F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. So all those two chords in mind, so B major and F sharp major. Two hands together goes like this, so right hand starts. After B, B major by itself, and it continues. After A sharp, F sharp major by itself, just like that. Let's do it again, so it goes here. Moving on to the second part, Ryan continues, goes to A sharps, C sharp, A sharp, A sharp, C sharp, C sharp, D sharp. That's it for the second part for the right hand, let's do it again, it goes A sharp, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, A sharp, C sharp, C sharp, D sharp. That's it for the right hand, left hand, two chords here, the two chords are C sharp major, which is C sharp, F, G sharp, and D sharp minor, which is D sharp, F sharp, A sharp. So with those two chords in mind, so C sharp major and D sharp minor. Two hands together goes like this, the right hand starts. Upper C sharp, C sharp major by itself. Upper D sharp, D sharp minor by itself. That's it for the second part. Let's do it again. It goes here. Here. That's it for the second part. So back to back, the two parts we've learned so far, we play like this. Moving on to the third part, okay, third part continues, goes A sharp, A sharp, B, 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 C sharp, B, A sharp. So you can see it's like similar to the first part, but just a tiny bit different uh, in terms of like the groupings, okay? But actually, it's actually pretty much similar. You can see it's like uh, two hands together for the left hand, two chords are the same as well, so B major and A sharp major, same as the first part. So it just goes like this, it goes A sharp, A sharp, B here. Yeah, so it's pretty much the same notes as the first part, but just at the start, it's not as fast, okay? So... Yeah. Yeah, so it's more like, okay, the first part is like... Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, the two Bs near the end, da, 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 is more grouped and fast there, but for this third part, it's like... Da, 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 wait, and then it goes... B, da, 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 da. Wait a little bit more for that B instead of just doing a fast one. Okay, so yeah, that's the difference for us. So back to back, the three parts we've learned so far will be play like this, so you can see the similarities and differences. Check it out. Yeah, moving on to the fourth and last part. Right continues goes A sharp, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, F, 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 up to A sharp, A sharp, D, 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 D sharp. Okay, let's do it again. It goes A sharp, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, F, 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 up to A sharp, A sharp, D, 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 D sharp. That's it for the right hand, left hand, finish with three chords. The three chords are A sharp major, which is A sharp, D, F, and then first inversion of A sharp major, which is D, F, D sharp or D sharp minor, D sharp, F sharp major. So yeah, with those three chords in mind, so A sharp major, first inversion, A sharp major, and D sharp minor. 
two hands together goes like this, so right hand starts, F and chord together, first D and chord together, and then D sharp and D sharp minor together. There you go, let's do it again, it goes together, together, together. There you go. So back to back, all the parts we've learned in this lesson will be played like this. So once you get the melody and chords all good, and once you can repeat it consistently correct, then you can start adding improvisations, like left hand you can do like octave and arpeggio patterns, rhythmic patterns, I prefer doing rhythmic patterns, but you can do a combination of both. Okay, and right hand you can harmonize the bass and chords to make it more thick in texture, so you can do something like this, you can be like... Was different to the previous well that's the awesomeness of improvisations you can really make up your own version add and subtract and just yeah, express whatever you want to do for that particular moment okay but yeah that's pretty much it by the way if you want to learn the other miraculous ladybug themes on my channel just search it up uh search up miraculous ladybug amos store and you find all the other ones to learn as for now that's pretty much it for today's lesson if you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime and cartoon theme songs and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.